Police in Cedar Rapids, Michigan arrested a man for allegedly kidnapping a woman and forcing her to watch all nine hours of Roots. forcing her to watch all nine hours of Roots, telling her it was, quote, so she could better understand her racism. Come on, bro, I know it's Black History Month, but this ain't the way. I recommend everybody watch Roots at least once, cause you want to, not at gunpoint. And she said that Robert told her he would kill her if she did not sit and watch all of it. Oh Damn. my God, did Get he feed her fried chicken? Oh did he feed some neck bones and stuff? He should've Jesus. gave her some food from the culture too. Exactly, some mm -hmm. neck bones, some ham hocks. So his mug shot though, he looked so happy. <laughs> yeah. He did yeah. some yeah. real good yeah. for yeah. the culture. So how I'm Morgan and I'm a racist. Something that is usually unspeakable. I'm Bonnie and I'm a racist. Is a conversation Bonnie, starter at a meeting of Racists Anonymous. I'm Daryl and I'm a racist. Their goal is to abolish racism from their communities by first eliminating it from themselves. Often we don't even realize we're being racist. So these people have come for an unconscious bias training session. And one of the first things to realize is that everybody has a bias whether you think you do or not. I just want to check my own bias and have some tools in which to deal with it. I have biases without question uh, in favor of uh, interest, if you will, for people of African descent. YWCA of Boulder County is bringing a program called Reading to End Racism into some area elementary schools. The goal of Reading to End Racism is to expose these kids to differences, to help them understand other people's experiences. And a book is a tool for that, giving the kids something they can relate to. Teachers always have their favorite students, but when does this favoritism turn into bias? In Australia, our data suggests that in, uh, Australians might be a little bit more likely to act, maybe as many as 50%. <laughs> Wait, where'd you get your scarf from? Pardon? The your Bystander Anti-Racism Project is a three-year ARC-funded project. Oh, you know, in Australia, we use tea towels for washing the dishes. <laughs> oh, 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 guys, leave it alone. Soul Fire Farm is a black indigenous led community farm that's dedicated to ending racism in the food system and training up the next generation of activist farmers. Between one and two percent of farms are black owned. This is because of a whole legacy of discrimination of institutional racism. Racism exists. We cannot deny that. Many of the congregations are still doing things the same way. By 1950s, white culture that does not resonate, does not relate. And I believe that it's time for the church to stand up and speak against racism.